The Tale of the Tape brought to you by 10X. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to CardoneVentures.com. Alan Klingbile, the older man, and also the taller man, 6'2 to 5'7. A pretty big disparity on height. Despite that fact, you can see that Landman, a minus 975 favorite going into this one. Let's send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the power slap light heavyweight division. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Out of San Antonio, Texas, Alan Klingbeil. Woo, baby! And now, out of the red corner, he stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 198.5 pounds. Out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Joseph Slappy Joe Landman. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Alan Klingbeil. Take a look at the props to watch. Landman by knockout plus 250. Not yet. Now he did lose the toss, so he will have to receive first. Our Klingbeil predicted that position. it will be one. And done. I guess we'll find out blue, here shortly. We're going to find out real quick. In hand. Right three. Right three. Blue, right three. Now, Clink Bile has a two Measure. inch reach advantage. Gives him a little bit more leverage if he knows how to use it. He's also about five inches taller. You can see how much he has to get down. Way taller. Two. Here we go. Oh! oh. Oh, oh. Foul. Oh. Foul. Foul. Stepping. Klingbile delivers a huge blow, but he's going to get deducted a point for the stepping foul. Yeah, Joe Landman. Recover. Struggling from that one. Let's here we go, take blue. a look. One point blue. Watch the feet here. One point blue for stepping. Not, yes. a, point blue not a terrible step, but right, he lifted the heel too much. Both heels, actually. It's the momentum. You're putting so much effort into swinging, you forget to control the rest of your body. So it was his right foot kind of stepped up okay, red, just ever so slightly. Right, Don't think it was intentional, right but three, you have red, to be measure. in control. One. Two. Yeah! Oh, Clean. Oh. Klingbeil just no, no, laughing no, that slap no, off and can't. talking smack no. along the way. You good? I love it. I love it. Takes Recover. it, smiles, laughs. Position. Talks a bit of shit. Why Come not? Come on. I mean, he's clearly the bigger man, but look at this. He's like, that's all you got? Wait for it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to smile. <laughs> Okay, round two, Is there gentlemen. anything more depressing as a striker oh, than to have the guy you just hit look at you in the right eyes and three. smile on your face? Right three, it's the bro. worst thing in the world, especially when you hit them with your best Measure. shot, like he just did, and he takes it and smiles. Round two, here we go. Keep those feet on the ground. One, two. Oof. Oh, That's that another big one. Oh, fair. Fair blow. Oh, he's, oh he's, still, he's still very wobbly as he goes over to get some coaching and get the chalk wiped off his face. Here's another replay. I mean, Good. almost took Recovered. his head off. I mean, he's, he's taken two extremely okay, three. tough shots from Clinbile so far, lambing up. One, two. Oh, A little bit better from Landman. Yeah. No smile this time. Clean by was like. Uh, he felt that a little more. Yeah, he's, he's thinking about it. Nodding his acknowledgement. He really comes from underneath a little bit more than some of the other guys, too. And I wonder if that affects the power that he can generate. Well, as opposed to coming down or straight across. Fucking knock him out. Woo! And keep, keep in mind, he's six inches shorter, right? Yep. So he's, he's coming from six inches lower. Position, That's why he's please. landing a little bit lower on the job. Hand and count. Right hand on three. Right hand on three for blue. Let's, let's see if Klingbile can put him down. Measure. This could be one one. Huge slap for Klingbile. One. Two. 
Oh! oh. 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 There it is! Had to be held up. There was no foul. Is that technically a Three. knockdown? He had to be held up. Four. Yep. Yeah. No, you're good. Five. Five count. Six. Six. Seven. Man, man, nodding that he's okay. Eight. Good. Good to go. Walk towards him. I, I'm going to have to see him step. move to believe he's recovered. okay. Okay. He's okay. He's, he's recovered. He's all right. Great hit. That was a good shot, Great though. Hit. That, was, that was the best Clean. shot of the match for Klingbeil. Oh, the sound. All right, bottom of the third. When you're man. here, it's like a thunderclap. Position. It's terrifying. <laughs> right on three. Right down. Measure. It's a little low, One. though. Right down. Two. Nothing. That was a little low. Yeah. A foul on red clubbing. Yeah! Yeah! Well, yeah! if it was 1 1 going into the third round, Club. I think Klingbile solidified Good. the victory and then Landman had a foul. Point deduction red. Yeah! One point red clubbing. One point red clubbing. One point red clubbing. End of the match. End of the match. Yeah. All right, that's yeah, it. You can, hear the, you can hear the coach, Ryan Phillips, go! going nuts for Klingbile in his corner. Oh! Alan Klingbile, born and raised and currently residing in San Antonio, Texas. Works out at the Grindhouse Training Facility. A couple of uh, amateur MMA fights on the resume. Winning record three and two. Yep, fought a professional boxer, did pretty well. His wife, Ashton, will be watching at home, no doubt. Very, very happy with what she just saw. He did say that his coach here, Ryan Phillips, completely changed his technique. And as we look at Joseph Landman waiting to find out that in all likelihood, he has taken his first loss in power slap. Yeah, Klingbeil landed the better shots. He took them better. Landman had a point deducted as well. So I feel like this is only a formality for Klingbeil to be declared the victor. Waiting to tally the judges' scorecards. It's a 10-9 must scoring system. Let's take a look again at all Klingbeil's shots starting in the first round, Michael. There it is. And that's the first shot, a solid blow. But remember, a stepping foul on that occasion there. One point deduction. Here's the second one now. Got his feet together, got the slaps together, got the power landing. Look at Landman. He still picks up that heel, actually more so on that blow than he did on the first blow. Little bit of a stepper. Landman club in there. That's a low blow under the chin, on the neck. But Klingbeil has a chin. Yes, he does. So if you ask me, I would have this 29-27, obviously in favor of Alan Klingbeil. So I think it's only a matter of time before he is the winner. Klingbeil saying he'd like to fight up middleweight and light heavyweight, become a champion in power slap, then eventually move on to the UFC to make things official. Let's send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 28-26 for the winner by unanimous decision, Alan Klingbeil.